Hello, we're Nerds We are reviewing Ghost Castle. We're going to be super serious about this. This is a game where you roll the dice to see how many spaces you move, and then there's no we ball. We didn't put the ball back. We're going to put the ball back in. This is into. This is this game in a nutshell. <laughs> My name is Tom. We have a Reese. Hello. We have a Beck. Hello. We have a Sean. Spoopy. Uh, yeah, the component quality is nice. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, uh, let's let's start good things, right? The, let's start off with the, the, let's the ghost is funny looking. The it's component thematic. quality is nice. Um, it's thematic and it's a game for children. There so it's was terrible. there was elements of fun, right? There was times where we were having fun, which is very important for a board game. We had fun to have fun, and I had there was a laugh or two. There were multiple laughs. Serious question: Was that just Stockholm syndrome? No, I, I think eventually when we made up our n- own narrative that the yellow spaces were piss. Yeah. We decided to play on hard mode, which is if you um, land on a yellow space, you're not allowed to land on a yellow space. I, the memories this game will stay with us forever. <laughs> okay, that is... <laughs> the it's memorable. The line of nobody wanting to step I th- in the I, piss. I think it's memorable, right? It's memorable. So there's a... We will never forget this game. It will stick with us until the day we die. Look, I think for... <laughs> There's elements of... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I think for the... For what the game has been designed for and the age that it's targeting, its demographic is targeting, I think it's fine. I think it's it, it has the element of surprise with the ball dropping and you, the chance of your pieces getting knocked over and super simple. Um, I, I like the randomness of the ball dropping. Yep. I like that there is a chance that it can go anywhere, and I like that there's even a chance that if it goes, if people are on this space and it goes down this way, damn. <laughs> if it goes down this way, then you get a secret jump through. Yeah, but I'm, that is all I like. It has I'm a- imagining playing this with my five year old niece, and she would love this. Oh, yeah, like yeah. she would have so much fun with this. this- just the same as I was thinking about, like, my three-year-old nephew. And I was like, when he gets, like, just a little bit older where he could appreciate something like this and, and understand the rules and stuff, I think he would get a real good kick out of it. Yeah, yeah like, because I think we're very jaded. And, you know, we just see a game where it's like you roll dice, you land on a space, or you, you don't land on a it's, space because you can't. And we're like, that's the whole game? For a five-year-old, that's all it needs to be. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's the same issue we had with Atmosphere, right? We're looking at it from people who've been playing board games like our board games just a few for the last 10 years and been doing this show for six years and we're like we are so tainted by board taste. games that we're just like you know this exists right yes. you know it's like um we have taste buds so we don't want to taste the piss but, but the piss <laughs> is there <laughs> we have stuck i just can't help drink the piss um <laughs> but like the the, the thing is right Take all of that out. I'm still spoiled by goosebumps. <laughs> this is so that, that's me, right? We now have to rank this on on our board. Okay, before we do, can I just talk about though the art? Because I know we touched on it. We talked a little bit about components just briefly. It is a pretty game. Uh, I wouldn't say that. it is clip art. It, the board game. Yeah. It has a charm. For it's they charming. took photos of real people. Yeah. Someone got charming. paid to model for this game, show. I know, but the thing is, like, with with today's production quality for ch- children's marketed stuff, I just feel like they really missed the mark. Like, some nice art, like hand drawn right. illustrations, not just photos of goofy people dr- dressed this- up as stuff. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Rolling problems, with rock. You know, thank you for the raid. I actually, I have a, I have a legitimately genuine right, question. Do you cl- think these are like spirit Halloween costumes? I think, like they just took the photos uh, of people demoing the costumes. I, th- and I think so. Like, I think that's what they are. They're stock images of people dressed up in Halloween costumes, right? And they've tried to not go for anything too scary to you keep the, the think, age limit down. I think it is. Yeah, <laughs> but I think this game would be have so much more like presence and be more fondly remembered if the art was like all original mm. and illustrated and done but really nice. why would they bother? It's I will true. Say, this cost me 20 bucks. Okay, so there you go. And Price point, right? So to get it's that, an accessible game for many families. Yes. Yeah. And you can't do that if you pay someone yeah. $30,000 to design the whole thing. I will say it's better than Monopoly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. will give it that. 
Yeah. Is it better than Mousetrap? <laughs> Ma- Mousetrap has mouses, though. I need to remember the the artwork for Mousetrap. I can only remember the bits, like the plastic bits that yeah. move and do all the bits, all the stuff. They've got drawn on bits on the costume too. That is true. Or like at least some logos have been put on. Um, yeah, they've all got skulls this, in them this in some way. Twelve-year-old child is as big as all the adults. Please, he's, he's thirteen. He's, he's, he's a big child. <laughs> he's had his growth spurts. God knows, not better than Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> chat, chat has spoken. All right, we need to put this yep. on our ranking okay, list because that is what we do here at Nerds of the West. Do you want me to put it over here? Yeah, if you just move we it up. put all the games we play on this list and re-rank it at the end of the year. This is us not saying that one game is objectively better than another, even though in this case we can. Just if given the opportunity, what we would prefer to play. I'm gonna keep shifting this backwards. I'm only so big. <laughs> well, if I can go first, yeah. I think I would put it down here, just above Zombie Kittens. Oh yeah, you know what? Now that I'm looking at the list, is where I put it. The setup time was comparable to Nemesis Lockdown. Yeah, fair enough. It still goes below well Reload for me. This is the worst game we've ever played. <laughs> it's not better than Mousetrap. Are you mad? <laughs> I mean, now I am. Um, <laughs> I I would play Nightmare over this because they have very similar elements, but Nightmare kind of has that <laughs> level of interactivity. It's got that level of interactivity that this game doesn't. Yeah. So I would play Nightmare before I play this game. I'm being too nice to this game, and this is where it all comes down. It's got to go... <sighs> I really did not like Reload. (laughs) Like, I'm going to say it goes below Nightmare. Because at least Nightmare, I have a reason to pull that out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you're a VHS player. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, Nightmare, the gimmick is what sells it. The gimmick for this doesn't sell it. Don't get me wrong. This is a game for children. I would play so many other games with young children. When my niece turns children. seven, I'll ask to borrow this. Yeah. 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 And that, and that's the thing. If I had played this before we played Goosebumps, legitimately, I would be like, this is a good game for kids. Goosebumps. Spoils. Way better game for kids. Yeah. All right. We it's... have it. It's down here. We. Ha- I think we have all three versions of Atmosphere in the house. We did try and pull out the DVD version when we played at Nightmare last yeah, week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we have we have Nightmare, Atmosphere, the DVD version, Atmosphere, the We, we can talk about that after, because I'm going to wrap this video up. <laughs> this is a game for children. It is okay to play with children. It is not good. You will not necessarily have a good time. There are better games for children, but it's okay. We are Nerds of the West. We have a Sean. Hello. We have a Beth. Hi. It's Reese. Hello. And we'll catch you next time. Cool. See ya. Bye.